Our eyes naturally follow patterns when we look at things. We usually start in the top left, and then we'll look from left to right, and then top to bottom. Traditional print media takes advantage of the patterns our eyes follow, and so do websites. For instance, with our website here, we have the title at the top because we want the title to be the first thing that people see when they click on our website. After they get past the title, they'll move down, and at the left, we have images. These images are here to capture attention because people will look at the images first, then they'll see the headline, and then once they read the headline, they'll go down to the text below it. This type of design follows what we call a grid-based layout. And in fact, many, if not all, websites follow a grid-based layout. Here we are on the Udacity Courses page. It's pretty easy to pick out the grid on this page. We can see that there's a main column on the left that's broken into smaller grids. And then on the right, we have this large column that's broken into smaller grids. In fact, we can keep breaking it down into smaller and smaller grids. Other websites, like the New York Times, do the same thing. It's pretty easy to see how the New York Times is broken into grids, and we can keep going, breaking it into smaller and smaller pieces of the grid. Next time you're on a website, try to break it apart into grids. You'll be surprised how easy it is.